anticipating him leaving the wife. Ultimately, he came back to her and he basically told her he was going to try to work it out with the wife. He was sorry and left her. She says, I'm not having it. I gave you three years. I gave up everything for you. I was everything for you when she wasn't. You promised me and I'm not giving it up that easy. Social media went so crazy, over 2 million views. Yes. 2 million. If yes. you haven't heard the first call, please please go to our social media page and you can hear it. Let's jump on the phone because we have Bria on the phone. She's upset, Wanda. She I know. is she is I know. deeply upset. So let's go to her right now. People Station V103. Bria, good morning. I'm here. It's Frank and Wanda. Good morning. Good morning. You sound a little bit irritated this morning. A lot of people judging me. I just don't think that they really understand. Like, they making this my fault. When I met this man, he told me that, you know, he was separated. You know, I believed him. I went to his apartment. I went to his condo. He had his own place. I stayed the night. I was with him several nights a week. You can't help who you fall in love with. You know, I mean, I wasn't planning on falling in love with this man, but I did. Everybody out there, you know, with something to say, you know, don't know what I've been going through. A lot of women who are posting online basically are saying, you're the bad guy because you messed with a married man. He was still legally married. What about the fact that, you know, the married man messed with me? You know, why is it that the woman is always the first one to be, you know, um, um, blamed? You know, I, I, I'm not the one married in the situation. He was. I'm not the one that had vows. He was the one with the vows. I wasn't the one with the commitment. He was the one with the commitment. So why wasn't there, you know, a lot of comments about him? Why is it, you know, he married, but she did this and she did that? You know, so all these people mad at me, but they're not holding him accountable. I'm making him accountable. I'm holding him accountable in a way that nobody else will. I know that there are other women out there like me. That girl Shay called in. She said she was in my exact situation. So I know that there are a lot of women out here who are just like me. It's easy to judge me and it's easy you know, to blame, you know, the other woman, but I'm doing what people won't do. And that's hold him accountable. He don't do what he said. So, you know, people can get mad, they can judge, you know, all the, I saw, I read a lot of those comments, Frank and Wanda, you know, and it's just not there. You know, people making comments, they ain't even in my shoes. So, you know, basically, you know, you know, they can kick rocks because they don't know me, they don't know my situation, and I know that there are a lot of other women out here, you know, just like me, going through what I'm going through. Can I ask you a question? When you found out that he was married, okay, regardless of whether he told you he was going to get a divorce, whatever the case may be, when he said, yes, I'm married, why didn't you cut it off and say, hey, holler at me when you get a divorce? Holler at me when your wife is out of the picture because I don't want to interrupt this. Why, why didn't you say that? Because, Wanda, I had fallen in love with him by then. You can't control who you love. And so what? What am I supposed to do? I'm supposed to just, um, you know, forget what I feel and just turn and walk away? What do you ultimately want from him? I want him to do what he said he was going to do, Frank. He said that he was going to be with me. And that's it. He's not your man. He's married. He is my man. And that's what, that's what I'm saying. That's what I don't think. He's not your saying. man. He's not yours. He is my man. And he's going to be my man. And he is going to do what he said he was going to do. My thing is, if he's doing this to his wife with you, you don't think he's going to do this to you with somebody else? You know what? Like that girl Shay said, you know, if that's what happened, you know what? Then you just charge it to the game. Then it's charge it to the game. Hmm. I know you're in a lot of pain. I, can I can I please just make one suggestion? My suggestion for you is, would you please just do Frank and Wanda a favor and please go speak to someone about this situation? I, I think you really mm -hmm. should go speak right. to a therapist about your frustrations, what you're mad at, and just hear it from somebody else mm -hmm. on on how you can get through this you know, yes. to come out yes. better on the other end. Would you yeah. please do that for me? I mean, I'll talk to somebody. Yeah, I'll talk to somebody about it. This is not fair. Maybe me and Wanda can help you out with Absolutely. that. Absolutely. Bye. Mm. <sighs> that, that's too much.
It's, it's, can, can it's, I just can I just say something? I, I I'm gonna I'm gonna be I'm play devil's advocate on okay. this. Okay, all right, go ahead. I feel her. I know y'all think I'm crazy, but I feel her. Okay. I mean, they're, they're, you know, the bottom line is if you if you meet, I, I understand what you're saying, Wanda, mm-hmm. that basically he was still married. Right. But this is a woman. He she met him. He was living. He had his own place. Right. I don't know if it was a second and, and place. We, I don't know we, if anybody and, knew. And we didn't hear he, that yesterday. He, he had his own place. Right. And so. He put they it were out separated. there as if he was single, Separ- they, and they, they were done. They, they were separated. Right, right. They just didn't have it legally finished yet. Right. So okay. there's a lot of women out there probably in that position. Right. You know, and men, too, mm-hmm. that are dealing with somebody who, you know, separated, living on their own, not living with the wife or the husband no more, and they're dating, and you expect it to, the I divorce to go through or whatever, and then, you know, probably, maybe, you know, you know what they say, sometimes it's cheaper to keep her. Right. Maybe homie was going to court and I, realized what he was about to lose and was like, okay, no. I just hope men realize. So I'm not crazy. saying, I'm not blaming her 100% is what I'm saying. Okay, but I just hope men see that there is crazy out there. Why you think you're dealing with somebody that's got your back? This is the kind of crap that happens. Now she's crazy forever. But I so, think a lot of people. I think a lot of people are saying like, "How can you help somebody live a lie, and then you expect that person to turn around and live the truth with you?" It's not going to happen. Mm. All right, our number is four zero four seven four one W V E E. It's eight thirteen. It's Frank and Wanda in the morning on the People Station V one zero three. We got a special guest coming up this hour as well. Pierre, comedian, is coming in the studio. Yes. Ooh.